I'm Don Toppy and welcome to Going For Gold, the series where I give you the quickest and easiest ways to get the golden camos on your weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The weapon we're covering today was requested by someone in the comments and it is the CUDA SMG. If you haven't seen one of these episodes before, what I do is I go through the class you want to be using to get your first 9 camos, which for the CUDA is to get 100 headshots. Then I'm going to move on to the 5 challenge camos and you may need to change that class and your playstyle to better suit those challenges to do them as fast as possible. The CUDA is an all round great SMG, it's the first one you get, it comes already unlocked before you have to do any ranking up. And it's a brilliant all round SMG, it has a good fire rate, good damage and is pretty decent at range. If you put on the right attachments and perks, it does increase it even more so it is an even better gun. So getting straight into it, the class you want to be using to get those first 100 headshots as fast as possible is the CUDA with the quick draw grip, the foregrip and the silencer on. And then for your perks, you're going to want to take Afterburner in perk 2, you're going to want to take Fast Hands and in perk 3, Awareness and Dead Silence. Just quick run through of why I've taken all those perks and attachments. For the attachments, the two grips just help to keep your accuracy and also helps you to get your sights up faster. And because you are going for headshots, you don't want to be aiming down sight as much as possible just so you are more accurate with it. And then the silencer keeps you off the minimap because you want to be moving around and stay in life for as long as possible. And the silencer doesn't really have that much of an effect on the range. It does have an effect, but because it is so good at range, you can still get those longer ranged kills. And then the perks, the perk 1 just helps you to move around the map a lot faster. Perk 2 helps you with getting those sights up. And the final two in perk 3 just help you hear where the enemy's coming from and make sure the enemy's kite where you are coming from so you'll stay alive for longer and get more kills. With some classes, you have to take these perks and attachments to help you to improve the gun scene you can fight against other players. But with this gun, it is so good that you are taking these attachments and perks and just making it even better. So you will be able to fight them anyway without these. These are going to help you to win even more gunfights. So you should be able to do this gun pretty quickly if you are trying to get a gold and then move on to diamond SMGs. With the CUDA, there isn't really a set way that you need to play with it. Like I said, it's a really good all-round gun. You can either run up into their faces, which is a pretty good way if you do want to get those headshots pretty quickly. Or you could slow down and stay at the back and as long as you tap fire, you can be really accurate at medium to long range with this gun but generally as you can see in the gameplay the way I like to play with it was I like to pick a main part of the map and just hold it down and make sure the enemies can't get into it you can either do that in a game mode where it's objective like in hardpoint or in domination or you could go into free for all or TDM like I'm doing in this gameplay and just hold down the main part of the map hold down the center building and make sure they can't get in this is where the silence is really going to come in useful because they'll be able to run up to the building it won't know where you're coming from even when you are shooting them in the back I did this gun quite a long time ago, so I can't remember how I got all of my headshots, but I think I did do it in free-for-all. I think I remember having a lot of good gameplays from that and just playing in free-for-all, holding down buildings, pre-aiming doorways and using my awareness to know where they are coming from before they are actually on top of you. But moving on to the five challenge camos, the first challenge camo you have to complete is the Ardent camo, and to do this you have to get 10 revenge medals whilst using the CUDA. There's nothing you can really do to speed this up other than using the Rejack Specialist, so you can put that on if you want to speed it up even more. But just play with the CUDA with the same class on as before and you should just earn them as you're going. The next camo is called Burnt, and for Burnt you need to get 50 kills with the CUDA without any attachments equipped. So just take off all of your attachments and if you want to you can use those extra slots to put on some more perks. You shouldn't really find this one too hard because the CUDA is a really good gun even without any attachments on. The third camo you need to complete is called Bliss, and for Bliss you need to use the CUDA with an optic and five attachments on. The class I used for this was the CUDA with the ELO red dot sight, the foregrip, the quick draw grip, the silencer, the long barrel and the extended mags. You don't have to use this class but I would say keep the same class you were using before then add on a sight and two extra attachments, whichever ones you want, those are just what I chose to take. And finally as always we have battle and chameleon, so for battle you need to get 5 double kills and chameleon needs to get 5 bloodthirst kills, so you need to go on 5 lots of 5 kill streaks. You'll probably earn these whilst you're doing your bliss camo, but if you don't, go back to the same class set at the start and use that until you do complete them. But that is everything I have to say on how to get the coup to gold in the shortest amount of time possible. If this video has been helpful or if you have enjoyed it, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Check out the rest of the Going For Gold playlist in the link in the description down below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.